Good morning, dear students. Today, I'm in front of you with another interesting poem prescribed in your syllabus, Wind. Wind is written by Subramanya Bharti. This poem gives an important message that we should be mentally tough and physically strong in order to survive the hardships of life. So, let's quickly look at the scene in front of you. You can see how each one of us suffers when the wind blows and the impact it has on us. Now, let's begin with the text. Wind, come softly. Don't break the shutters of the windows. Don't scatter the papers. Don't throw down the books on the shelf. There, look what you did. You threw them all down. You tore the pages of the books. You brought rain again. You are very clever at poking fun at weaklings. Frail crumbling houses, crumbling doors, crumbling rafters, crumbling wood, crumbling bodies, crumbling lives, crumbling hearts. He won't do what you tell him. So, come, let's build strong homes. Let's join the doors firmly. Practice to firm the body. Make the heart steadfast. Do this and the wind will be friends with us. The wind blows out weak fires. He makes strong fires roar and flourish. His friendship is good. We praise him every day. Wow, what a beautiful poem. This poem has been translated from the Tamil by A.K. Ramanujam. So, let's understand what the poem is all about. Yes, the first part of the poem describes the action of the wind. The poet asks the wind to come softly. He requests the wind not to break the shutters of the windows, not to scatter the papers and throw down the books from the shelf. But the wind throws the books and tears the pages. The poet says that the wind makes a mockery of weaklings. It brings down frail houses, crumbling doors, rafters and even weak hearts. The poet advises us to be strong. It is the way of the world to kick the weak and to be friends with the strong. The wind blows out the weak fires but makes the strong fires roar and flourish. Thus, the poem conveys the idea that nobody cares for the weak. Even the wind is on the side of the strong people. We must make ourselves strong to become successful and overcome the challenges in life. Now, it means the poem has, you know, some very beautiful thought. The poet has very beautifully expressed his ideas about both the destructive and constructive aspects of the wind. The wind is often satirical of weak men. Wind symbolizes the difficulties that are faced in life. When we have the endurance to bear the difficulties of the life, we can overcome each challenge. But if we are weak, nothing can be done. So... This poem inspires us to face the challenges and hardships with courage, grit and firm determination. Wind is a symbol of problems and obstacles which are to be dealt without fear. We must be friends with the wind to cope with hard situations. Now, after understanding the theme of the poem, let's quickly look at the literary devices used in the poem. As far as the rhyme scheme of the poem is concerned, this poem is written in free verse. There is no rhyme scheme in the poem. 
Another device used in the poem is anaphora. It is like when a word is repeated at the start of two or more consecutive lines, it is anaphora. Lines 2, 3, 4 begin with don't and lines 6, 7, 8 begin with you. Personification. We can see that wind has been personified. When the poet says you are, he is referring to wind as you. That means he is treating wind as a person. Moreover, crumbling word has been repeated number of times. So it means repetition is also there in the poem. I hope you all have understood what the poem is all about and the idea that the poet wants us to understand. So dear children, if I ask you a question that what are the things the wind does in the first stanza? So what your answer will be? So obviously when the wind blows violently, it destroys everything. It breaks the shutters of windows, scatters the papers, throws the books down from the shelves, tears their pages and bring along a lot of rain. But how can we be friends with the wind? For that, you know, we must make ourselves strong to face the violent wind. When we will be strong, the wind will not harm us. Instead, it will become a friend and help us to grow and flourish in life.